Hello everybody, it's Jeff Beauty 87 here and today we're finally going to go over this collection. I have tried to film this video for y'all twice in the last like three weeks and it was not the best. I don't know why my camera was acting a fool. It likes to overheat like retardedly. So we're going to run through this real quick and then um, I did my comparisons on Instagram of these palettes just in case you want, you know, in-depth comparison on them. But I'm going to show y'all two other palettes at the end if we make it that far that, you know go um that have very similar shades if you want to buy this one but anyway this is the lip set this is the eye set let's get to it because we don't want the camera to die because it's acting very foolish and disrespectful i like the packaging of the outside of it i think it's cool that she did that instead of doing it the way that kirsten leanne did because they both supposed to be inspired by kaleidoscopes so or telescopes or whatever so this is what the inside of the palette looks like um I think it's pretty. Um, Y'all know. I'm going to try to stay away from these colors that I would normally use these down here. But I ain't going to make a promise. I don't know. Because they're pretty. I'm trying to do a red look though. Just because, you know, I feel like I don't play with nearly as much red as I do with other ones. The only thing is since so many people, other people have already done this. It's like I feel like a lot of people have already done the looks that I want to do. But I'm going to just figure out what the hell I'm going to do. Because I'm going to wing it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to start with, with his Wild Soul the orangey shade and mine has been you know dug into obviously because like i said i tried to film the video twice before and it did not work so hopefully we can get it to work this time now this color obviously i feel like a lot of these colors aren't gonna look the same on me as they would on someone who's lighter so please keep that in mind like this yellow shade is not gonna look as popping on me as it would on like karen herself i just love i love side e i on every collection I know of that she has. I have her Dosa colored one. I have her like three other Colourpop ones. And then I had to have this one when I saw it. I was like, yes! I just think it's sad though, like, you know, because I feel like this is like an underrated collection. I don't feel like I've seen a lot of people reviewing it, considering, you know, like, how long it's been out. I personally like her, so the day it launched, of course, my Thirsty Bug was on Colourpop. Like, yes, give it to me, Karen. Yes, yes, and yes, Karen, give it to me. Because to me, this palette is just gorgeous. And I love the color scheme of it. Like I said, I don't know what color look I'm going to do. I'm thinking I'm going to go with red. Because I just did a blue and um, purple look with the It's My Pleasure palette. And then I did two other looks. with I did a gold look with the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism versus the Wet n Wild dupe video. If you want to see that, you need to go to the Instagram channel. And then with the... um. And then I did one with the Soft Glam versus the um, Glam Squad from Wet n Wild as well. So if you want the, the quick three eye look, which is a series I do over there on IGTV at GLB87, then you should do that. Mm. Found out today I have a, somebody like perpetrate me online apparently. Y'all, I was, I was so dead. Because I'm like, first of all, I don't even think. I'm like popping enough for that to even be happening. So needless to say, I was just flattered because of that. Um, cause yeah, it was really weird. But it was on some I forgot the website it was. I'll link it down below or try to remember link it down below. Like, yeah, that's not me though. So if you like commenting and liking that or whatever, following that, you ain't following me. Only site I'm on is um Instagram and um here. I have a Snapchat, but it's like my personal Snapchat, and I don't ever snap anyway, so, you know, there's no point of following that, and you probably ain't gonna find it, but, you know, there you go, and then, I don't do Twitter, so if you see me on Twitter, that's a lie, too, I don't, I don't tweet, I feel sad I have to put this PSA out, though, because I just, like, started my channel, not even, like, a year ago, my mother was already, like, perpetrating me, I'm like, it's really weird, I'm sorry, I was just talking, y'all, I went in with euphoric while I was just over here ranting. Oh, and I just tried the um, Hourglass Vanish um, Liquid Foundation in the color Golden Almond. So that review should be up shortly. I, um, what I do? I, um, got cut off in the middle of it though. So I figured I'd finish giving my final thoughts with this one. Because I was like, I think putting powder underneath my eye in the video just stopped. But as you can see, I finished my face. I added on some, um, I added the Makeup Forever, um, face powder or foundation powder or whatever. And I, I like it now way better than I did when I first put it on in the video. And honey, it was just... Because at first I was like, I, uh, Hourglass, we need, to, we need to sit down and have several seats. And I didn't get to go over what I wanted to go over in that video, which is like about Hourglass as a brand. 
So I'll probably put that in the description bar how I feel about the brand since I didn't get to put it in the video. And I'll talk about it a little bit here too as well. I don't like the fact that they make sure that they are inclusive when they feel like it. Because y'all got all these 5 million face palettes you come out with every year. But not one shade in any of them palettes is going to cater to my skin tone. But you'll make sure you give me a foundation and some powder and some lipstick and I'm supposed to be happy. Why am I including everything except these few things that you feel like including me? But I'm supposed to be excited. You tried it hourglass and I'm not feeling it. And that's pretty much my thoughts on it. Anyway. The foundation looks nice or whatever. But I didn't want to buy the full size. Not knowing especially since they're a higher end brand. And they're not really that inclusive on top of it. So I wasn't too excited about that. I haven't tried that caution mascara. Everybody talks about they love so much either. Just because I'm just like. I don't feel like you really check up for me when I need you to. You'll give me a few complexion products and then you'll expand on that. But you have yet to make where I can do a video and be like, oh, I can do a full face hourglass. If I can't do that, then to me, your brand ain't that inclusive like you trying to make it seem. So, there you go. Anyway, we're going to go on with this color, Misbehave. If y'all can tell, I'm, I'm kind of not like feeling the whole hourglass situation. The foundation looks nice and I wouldn't say don't get it if you're a fan of hourglass. I just don't like the fact that you're trying to be inclusive when you feel like it and your shade range on this is so awesome and amazing and all that and your shade range on your foundations is so wonderful but I can't use not one face palette your ass come out with you make sure you come out with one every year but yet I can't use not nothing you got. I don't like that. So that's why I don't really promote Hourglass that much or like talk about them because I don't like the fact that they don't give me what I need. Anyway, so we just went in with Misbehave. I think I'm going to just keep it real simple. We're going to go in with probably Lomo and Nocturnal. So I'm putting Nocturnal all over the lid. And then probably put Lomo in the middle or something like that. Because I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. Um, yeah. So let's just put this all over the lid. Or at least up in this part here. And... Okay, that's good. And then we'll put Lomo like right underneath there just on the lid so we can have like a nice reddish type of gradient situation going. I'm going to do some more looks with this palette because y'all know I have to do a look with this green. It might not necessarily be on here. Like I might go on IGTV right after this and do something. I doubt it seriously though because we've been filming since like I think 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's like 7 something here in Chicago. But yeah, so this is pretty much the finished eye look. I'm... I don't know, I just wasn't as inspired with this palette as I was the first two times I tried to film this video. So I'm kind of just like, eh. But I'm going to show you three lip colors. And I'm probably just going to put the gloss on, to be honest, just to save time. I got these three. It's, what is it, Dulce, um, Dulce Set, Coco something, and <laughs> Glass Lip. So we're just going to put on Glass Lip because I um, feel like doing a whole lot. I hate the new brush applicators. I think these are so terrible. Like... Why color pop? Why? Now, I don't know if I necessarily recommend you go out and get this entire collection because I feel like you got 5 million nudes. And if you already got um, Shayla's collab, then you don't need the lip gloss out of this one. I can tell you that now because it's literally the exact same color as Shayla's. See? Like they're damn near the exact same color. Let me see if I got time to swatch. So, there's that one. That one's just like a more peachier color. And then Shayla's has more like a lighter peachy pearl kind of going on. But you see they have the exact same damn glitter reflexes in them. So it's like, if you already got Shayla's, you need to buy this. If you want to just add more news to your collection, then I would suggest you buy the lip bundle. But otherwise, I don't feel like you need it. And I felt, and then I wanted to see how it looked with her palette from Dosa Color. So I was like... I feel like some of the colors in there are similar. Like, I feel like this and this could be similar. That and that could be similar. This one doesn't have a dupe to it necessarily. But, um, maybe like this and that one. See, like, I, sometimes I feel like this repeated shades in it. And then, with this palette, I feel like it has the most repeated shades in it. So, it's like, if you already own this, um, Rendezvous palette from Colourpop, I don't even feel like you should buy her palette. Because it's like, it's got this one and this one. That one and that one are similar when I swatched them the first two times in the video. This one and this one are similar to me. Like, this and this are similar. Like, I feel like the majority of this palette can be duped. 
and this one and you just won't have like this darker powder green shadow but you can buy a single from Colourpop for five dollars and this palette is only 16 whereas this one's 23 so if you already have this palette I would suggest you don't get this palette this palette I'm assuming gives nice looks I've only done this look with it so I don't know but that's what I think of this collection. I'll try to get y'all some more looks with it. I'll probably try to do another look with it next week when I have a little bit more time and I feel a little more creative. But I wanted to make sure I got at least one video up since I've been trying to film this forever. Like, literally like three weeks for y'all. I swear to God. Anyway, I <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video. And we'll try some of these nudes and the green look next time. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.